السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Okay, Jay, I can mute the uh, so that um, the stars may be in the convective muscle so that my mom will be can you actually connect? Okay, now. Shall you risk me? Ben. Uh, kill your email, bye. Simplified DIY for that guy. Okay. okay, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, wa ala hali wa sobi ajama ina ma baj. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, wa alaykum wa salam wa Please mute yourself. Mute yourself, please. Okay. So we are going to start with e-commerce training. Again, today, inshallah, I'm going to make this to be public. So right now, let me even send the link right now. I'll copy it. Okay. I will send it after the class. 
So I won't be able to access the WhatsApp now. So I will send this link to WhatsApp after this class, inshallah. So as I've mentioned that there are two products right now, this Pudaga watch and the other one, this earbud. So I'm going to be using this one as the example now. So you can, we have already used this one in the last class. So I'm going to use this one today, inshallah. So these earbuds, this is the link to copy the website because we don't want you to start designing the website by yourself at this particular stage. You can just click on this link and copy the website to your own GUI level. So when you log into your GUI level, I say when you want to log in, log in with app.guilevel.com. So when you go to app.guilevel.com, you enter your email and your password and you're going to log in. So when you log into your GUI level, you're going to be in this particular place. Then you now go to this particular link that I'm going to give you in the WhatsApp and in the description of the video. So you're going to copy this particular link. You're going to copy it. So the same tab where you have your GUI level signed in, that same tab, you're going to paste and go. So you can see copy of M9 wireless earbuds. So because I want to duplicate this particular funnel into my own GUI level account, I click on add funnel. So it's asking me that the funnel name is going to be this. So I want to remove the name, uh, the word copy. So I don't want copy to be there. So then the location, I'm going to pick my GUI level account because the name of this particular GUI level account I'm using is e-commerce practice. So I'm going to choose it and click on clone. But before I click on clone, I want to show you something. If you come to my Google level account here and you come to sites. So under sites and then under, under funnels, you can see that the only funnel I have here is Podaga uh, 298 Logi Men's Watch. That's the only funnel, just one funnel I have under this particular one. So if I should click on this now, clone. You can see funnel clone switch to an account or something like that. Okay. You can see now we are we have another funnel now because I've already cloned this funnel into this uh, particular Google level account. So when I the very first thing to do now is to click on it. When you click on it, you are going to have two pages: the landing page or the sales page, and then the thank you page. The landing page is the place where anybody anybody that clicks on your ad from Facebook is going to land. And that is the page you are going to sell your products, as in you put all the information there to sell your products. In order to preview this particular page, you can just click on this link here. This particular button, then when you click on it, it's going to preview. This is how it's going to look like. So this is the landing page to the earbud. So what you are going to see that something is missing and that is the form, there's no form there. So that's what you're going to do. So the landing page and then the thank you page, these are the two. But we see that, okay, we are not having the form. The form is missing on the landing page. So how do we do the form? Just click on, come to this place, forms, and come and go to builder. You click on builder. So it's going to show you all the forms you have on this particular Google level account. So if you want to, uh, what's it called? If you want to build a new form, just click on add form or something like that. But as for me, I already have a form I created for the Podaga watch. So I'm going to clone that particular one because the form is just similar. Only that I want to change the name. I will click on what? Duplicate. This one, I'm going to call it earbuds. Then I click on confirm. So, because if I should open this earbuds now, this particular form I just created by duplicating, the same field, the same information I have on it is the same thing I want. It's the same thing, it should be the same thing with the one I already have. So you can see just like the one I have. So this is just okay for me, so I can go back. So when I go to this particular funnel now, where is it? When I go back to funnels, 
I'm going to see the funnel of that Kodaga watch and the funnel of this uh, earbud I just cloned. I'll click on these earbuds. So now I'm on the landing page. I can also click on this to be on the thank you page, but I need the landing page right now. So when I'm on the landing page here, I'm going to click on this button here and I'll click on edit a new tab. I want to edit the landing page or the sales page. If you want to view it, click on this. But if you want to edit, you can click on this and click on edit in a new tab. So when I'm here, I will go down to where I have the form. You can see you do not have any form yet. I will click on it. When I click on that particular thing, I will go down here. You can see if I click on this, it has already selected that M9 something. So if I should click on this, you are going to see earbuds from zero Podaga. But the form I need now is this earbuds. I will click on it. I'm going to show it here. So the design, you can make it to be better than this, but that's not what we are interested in this particular so just to make just to get something done so when i load the form here then i click on save so that is that so here now if i should come back to the phone and try to preview again although i can preview from this way by clicking on preview too so when you come down now you're going to see that the form will be there now the form is there you can see the form but remember, there's one mistake that I noticed right now is that when I go to forms, when I go to forms, because I wrote the price on this particular form here, 26,000 naira today, and the price of the two are different. The price of this earbud is 24,000 naira. Although you can sell for any price you like, you can put 26,000 naira there, people are going to buy. And if you like, you can reduce the price, people are going to buy. It depends on you. Please mute yourself. Mute yourself, please. Okay, so I'm going to edit the price I have here on the form that I just wrote here, 26,000, uh, 26, we put it as 24,000. So I'll go back to the form, I'll go to Builder. So I'll click on here, boards. I'll click on this place. I will change it to 24 and I will save. So I'll go back. If I should refresh this, you can see it has changed to 24. So now my landing page is complete. For you to know that it is complete totally, you can just come here and try to fill the form with something. As if you want to order yourself. Immediately you submit the form, you should take it to the thank you page. You can see the thank you page. That means the form, uh, the landing page, the funnel is working perfectly. So if you come to your funnel, M9 earbud. So when somebody comes to this landing page and the person fills the form, it's going to take the person to the thank you page. Sometimes you're going to see M9, sometimes you're going to see M17. So it's just the same uh, earbud. Only that they are just little difference. And people don't, the difference doesn't matter. If you say N9 and you deliver M17, it's just additional feature. So they are just similar. So this is it. As for us here, we have a lot of M9 and we have just little uh, number of M17. So you can, we are going to tell you the particular one we are going to, uh, you are going to be selling. So we are going to tell you uh, tomorrow, inshallah. So you are going to know how to create it. Either you are going to be using M9 or M17, but it's just the same. So either you are using M9, just go to your landing page and make sure that your the name you have there is M9. But here we don't even write it. But if you have it, just put M9 there. And if it's M17, M17, but it doesn't actually matter because they are just the same watch with just little feature over the other. So that is that. So the landing page and everything is complete now. The next thing is to go to Facebook. 
to create the ad and link it to this you know i mentioned the fact that you can you might need domain if you like it's not compulsory so if you need domain we have already showed you how to connect domain to go level in our past classes e-commerce class you can refer back to it so you are going to be using the link with the domain but since it's not compulsory i just want to continue without the domain so that is that so when you go to facebook i said in your facebook account like this when you are here click on see more so you are going to see ad manager sometimes the ad manager will, will not appear here except you click on see more that's when you now see it so that's why i'm telling you to click on see more every time so if you don't have a page already of course you should create a page i've showed that in the last class you create a page so when you create a page then you go to ad account uh, ad manager when you come to ad manager and it takes you to this place just come to this place and click on campaigns so it's going to take you to where you should where you should be here under campaign if you have just one other account it's going to show you but if you have multiple other accounts you can click on this and select the particular other account you want to use to run the ad so let's assume i want to use this other account to run the ad so i'll just click on create so but there's something you should do before creating the other account and that is to set up the pixel i mentioned it the last time so when you come to this place you come to all tools and you open event manager in new tab if you don't do it now you can also do it later while creating the adwords you just direct to do it now so when you are here under the event manager click on data sources since you have a pixel here already then the picture has already been created so you cannot create more than one pixel now before we used to create multiple but now you can create more than one pixel and it's just enough so the pixel is already created so and the pixel is what crystal store that's the name of the pixel and this is the pixel id so you just click on continue set up the pixel you click on install code manually so when you do that you can just click on this install base code and you copy the code when you copy the code you go to your google level account so while you're on your phone you click on settings on this edge tracking code you just paste the code there the code you copy and you save so go back to facebook you can just click on continue continue go back to pc overview so that is done once that is done if you want to know it is done what you can do is that you want to know that the picture the picture has been installed correctly you can come to any of your website here you're going to install what you call pixel um we call it pixel epa pixel facebook pixel we'll just write pixel epa so you can see meta pixel epa before it used to be facebook pixel epa it's, that's a chrome extension you can see over 3 million users so you add to chrome add this is going to let you know if there's a pixel on a particular website or not okay so this is the pixel right so if you come back to this your landing page where you install the pixel let's click on this preview look at this color now it's going to change you can see it has changed and it wrote one that is this page is tracking one particular thing and that is what page view as in any person that comes to this particular page, Facebook is going to see it as what page view. And these are some of the metrics, setup method, manual, you manually set it up, URL code, show something. Do you understand? So Facebook is tracking um, events on this particular page now. So if you go to any page in this world, if you go to, let me say, youtube.com, youtube.com, if it has pixel, look at this pixel, it's going to fire. If it has Facebook pixel on it, Why is it taking the while to load? Oh, let me say Jumia dot ng. Is it dot ng or dot com dot ng? Okay, dot com dot ng. I'm not sure. Okay, Jumia dot com dot ng. Look at it. The pixel has fired. You can see what there are, is pixel on their website. So most of the websites you see in this world, they have pixel on them. 
this one i don't know why it's taking so what i'm just telling you is that this picture you can see how it how it is now but when you go to a website where there's a pixel it's going to show you that there's a pixel and it's going to show you what the pixel is tracking so as for my page now it's tracking page view for this one too for thank you page two it's going to be tracking page view and that is the default you can see it as fire too and you can see page view so when i go back to this place to where i install the pixel to event manager i will come to custom conversions i will click on create custom conversion so i will name it earboard the very first one I want to track is earboard purchased anything you like so and i will come to this page url instead of this contains i'm going to put it equals to and i'm going to copy the link of my thank you page this link of my thank you page this link i'm going to copy it what i'm telling facebook is this that whenever somebody comes to the url that is equals to this track that person as what track that action as what earbud purchased because when somebody comes to my landing page like this and the person clicks on order now if somebody clicks on order now the person is going to fill the form and click on order now immediately the person clicks on order now and fill the form is going to take the person to the thank you page that means the only person that can come to this thank you page is somebody who has already purchased uh, who has already ordered for the watch so whenever somebody comes to this thank you page facebook track it as what as earboard purchase that's what i'm telling facebook to so create that event that is done so if you want to track another thing too you can track it if you want to say that when somebody comes to the landing page here you track it at landing page view you can also do that one but that one is going to be tracked by facebook automatically but you can also track it by yourself you understand let's assume you know i've just installed the I've, I've, i'm tracking another event now on the thank you page so let's refresh the thank you page and see where's the thank you page let's refresh it you can see that here we're having pixel and it's tracking just one thing let's refresh it sometimes you, are, you have to open incognito you can see it's not showing anything just what i showed before a lot of times you have to like open it in incognito because even after refreshing here it's it's still not showing that it's tracking another thing and even if you go to event here let's refresh here too you might say right inactive most times cognito oh it's active a lot of times don't be active except you open it in incognito or a new tab so that is it so but yet it's not showing that the picture is not try it's not showing it but it doesn't matter for picture to show it is not what is important what is important is that it should fire here on uh, events here and since it is active here that's just enough i said if you like i can just say landing page here but viewed or something so for this particular one url contains i will change it to equals to and the link is going to be the link of my landing page which is this link here So when you put the link here, what I'm telling Facebook is that when somebody comes to this particular page, track it as what landing page earbud viewed or something like that. Just name it anything that's going to be easier for you. It doesn't have to be correct grammatically or something like that. So just create. And that's one too is created. So if I should refresh the landing page now. And you come back to the event center event manager and you refresh let's see if it's going to be active oh 
well, both are active. So that's just enough for me to know that, okay, the pixel is working. So once I do that, I know I'm tracking the events on my website correctly now, so I can proceed to run the ad. So I'll just click on this place. I'll go to Ad Manager, where I'm going to run the ad. So I'll go to Campaigns. So I can click on Create. I'm going to click on Sales. Sales, don't choose any of this. So I'm going to show you later how you're going to use the remaining ones. But this one, Sales, OK? Continue. Manual, continue. You give it a name, maybe Airboard. Airboard one. Anything you want to give it, just write one. I'm going to tell you the reason. So when you do that, just click on next. So this one, click on this conversion location, click on website. And here, under this pixel, it has already chosen the pixel. We have one pixel. And the conversion event here is the event we want to track. As in Facebook is, in, is interested, what is the actual thing you want to achieve from this your ad? What I want to achieve is what earbud purchased. You know, my what I want to achieve is not landing page earbud viewed. I don't just want people to view my landing page. I want them to buy. And that is this earbud purchased. So I'm telling Facebook this is what I want to achieve. The reason is because when somebody comes to the landing page and the person fills the form to order for the uh, for the watch and the person gets to this thank you page, which Facebook is going to track as earbud purchased. So when Facebook notices that the people who are going to that earbud purchased, they are this kind of people. It's going to give you more people like that. That's why if you perform, if you run an ad and the ad is not performing, maybe it's giving you useless people, people who are not paying. People who, when you call them, they're going to say, I don't have money, it is too expensive, all those kind of people. It's because when the ad started running, the, kind, the very first people that purchased the uh, that order for the watch or the product, they are people who don't have money. So I'm people going to think that those are the people who are interested in your product that they achieve, that you want. And it's going to give you a lot of people like that. So you have to be careful. That's why it is very good to put the price on the creative, as in the image you're going to use on the on Facebook. So that when people don't that don't have money, when they see it, they will just run away. They won't even order. Only people that have money are the people who are going to order. And Facebook is going to know that, okay, the people who are going for this particular product are the people who have money, this kind of people. And it's going to give you more people like that. So this is very important. So the conversion event here is going to be able to purchase. So now you continue. This price, just leave it like this. So the next thing is the location. Just click on edit here. Sometimes you can run into all Nigeria, or, um, and but also you can run into specific locations where you have. The, the thing is that is that we have two forms of delivery, although we have three, but let me just say two. The very first one is self-delivery. The people who are using bike, all these people that they deliver uh, for people. So those are the ones. We have them in Lagos, Abuja, um, Portacourt, Kano, Kaduna, uh, Oweri, and some other places like that. So when we have order in those places, in Abuja, for example, we are not going to use GID. We are going to use those delivery because there are people who can easy, easily talk to. They are not big companies. Just one person that is doing his business or just small uh, number of people, a company with just two or three people working in there. So you are going to call them and tell them what you want. It's very easy. So when we want to do that, we are going to take the product to garage in our place here, and they are going to, the boss is going to take it to Abuja. Those people are going to collect it from there in Abuja, and they will deliver to the customer. But if you want, if the order comes from, let me say, maybe Aba, for example, and we don't have said delivery agents in Aba, we are going to use GIG. GIG is a logistic company. And for them, for this GIG, the person has to go and collect it in GIG's office. So we are going to call the person and let the person know, that, okay, since you are located at Aba, you don't have said delivery agent at Aba, you are going to collect it from GIG. We are using GIG to send it to you. So when the product gets to Aba, you go and collect it from GIG office. Do you know any GIG office closer to your place? The person might say, I don't know. So you are going to, for you, you have the list of the GIG offices all over Nigeria. Immediately the person says, no, you just scroll to Aba and see the location of the GIG office at Aba. 
you are going to say, okay, the GIG office at Aba is located at this particular place. Do you know the place? The person is going to say yes. Hey, yes, I, I know the place. When the person says yes, I know the place, you are going to tell the person, okay, we are going to send you to that particular place. And you are going, you are going to collect it from there when the product arrives at the location. And the person is going to say, okay, yes, I'm going to collect it. Some people will say, no, if you can't bring it to my doorstep, I will not go and collect it. Then there's no way you can deliver to such people. The other is wasted already. Or you can tell the person that, okay, you don't want thing. You can send somebody to collect it for you. I'm going to pay for the for the transport. Okay. The person can agree to that. So you have to make every effort to make sure you deliver the products. You know that Facebook has already charged you. So if somebody is not ready to collect it, you know sweet things. You can tell the person to make the person to collect it. Because if you send products or you just waste the order, how many others are you going to be wasting? You are selling your products. So you should make efforts to make sure the person collects the product. A lot of those people, you know, they are ordering for watch. They are ordering for earbuds. It's not something that has to do with their life. So some people can order and they will not collect it again. It doesn't affect them because it's payment on delivery. So you have to make every effort and try to convince them in order to make them to go and what to collect it. So those are the things. So some people will not want to go to GIG office. You have to let them know, okay, you can go, you can say somebody will pay for the ride, something. Just but if you see that the person is not serious, don't send product to somebody who is not serious. The person will not go and collect it. And GIG will charge you to take it to Aba. They will even charge you another money to take it back to you. They will charge you one money, you know. Facebook has already collected their own money. Facebook uh, on GIG charging you to take it to Aba. They are charging you to bring it back to Lagos for you. You can see the, the loss a lot. So that's why you should make sure that you do the due diligence when you are doing this. So when we are running there, sometimes we put it in Nigeria. And we are going to be dealing with this kind of issue of GIG. Somebody is not willing to collect it. Somebody is willing to collect it. But when you put it in Nigeria, you are going to have a lot of others. But you are going to deal with this issue. But sometimes we just put the locations where we have delivery agents, where we have delivery, self delivery agent. Because when we have those ones, it's easier. They are going to call the person and take it to the person's house. So that's why. So if you don't want to use all Nigeria, just click on this and delete it. The all the location of the self delivery agent and their phone number, everything we are going to give you to you. So you can communicate with them. You are going to say you want to be using them for delivery. So and you talk to them. So that is it. It's not at all. So you are going to put the location you want here. If you want to use specific location like Lagos, Abuja, you put everything here. So I've done that in the last video. So let me just put Lagos. That's why we said some of our brothers and sisters that want to do delivery. So we are going to include their number too, so you can communicate with them. Okay, I want to be doing e learning or something. He bad down. And you're going to be using them so when you choose your locations here you can put a lot of locations just add if you want to add abuja you can add so many we did this in the last class the last class we add so that is that then here you can just leave all this one like this and click on what next so when you do that so you are going to choose the page you want to use to run the ad you might have so many pages just click on this place personal and choose the page you want to use let me use this one. You can just use anyone. So when you use that, as for the Instagram account, some people, I mentioned that when you are running ad on Facebook, you can use your Facebook page to run it on Facebook and to run it on Instagram. But for some people, they will use Facebook page to run it on Facebook and they use Instagram account to run it on Instagram account. So you don't have to do that. You can see for Instagram account, I said use selected page. And that's just enough for me. If you don't want to use selected page, you want to use Instagram account, you can just connect it here. So most people don't do that. So when you come down here, so this one is just okay, same good image or video. This carousel or something, I'm going to explain this one later, but it's not important. Most people use single video, a single image or video, but some people use this carousel. I'm going to explain it later. So under this media, you're going to click on this, add image. Some people use video too. So when you say add image, you're going to choose the image you want to use, for example. So the image you're going to use is already here on this page. And this, where is it? Okay. So when you click on this particular link, this ad creative, you can just copy it and go to where you have Canva accounts. You can use the paid and um, the premium Canva account we give you. So just paste it and enter. So when you have it like this, right? Yeah, you click on this one use template for new design 
or copy something like that. So these are the creatives we have already created for you. I said you can use the one that has price under it like this, and you can use the one that doesn't have price. But when you use this one that doesn't have price, you have to write the price there. But when you use this one, you can write under information there. You're going to see what I'm saying now. So for me, I want to use this particular one. So I'm going to use this page two because it has price under it and this is airboard already. So I'll click on this, I click on download. The network. Stars, are you there with me? I'm here with you. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So you click on download. You click on this. You tick this one to one, tick everything, and just tick on page two. So I'm going to download page two. It doesn't allow me to click on download because of the network. I don't know why the network is like that. This camera should be fast. Okay, I'll click on download. I click on this to untick everything. I will tick on two. Doesn't allow me to click on download because of the network. Oh, I'm downloading everything mistake mistakenly. No problem. I will... Okay, is it one I downloaded? Okay, this is the one I want. That's just okay. So now I will go back to where I'm running the ad. So here now, I'll click on media, add image. I'll click on upload. I will upload this. So I'll click on next, next, done. What is the issue? Let me do it again. Okay, this is it here, next, next. Want to enhance? As that open conversation. The image is not showing, I don't know why. Let me just refresh this whole page. I don't understand what is happening here. As that open conversation in Messenger can only be. Did I choose Messenger? I didn't choose Messenger, I choose websites. Sorry, sir. I think you should check the placements. I think the error is from the placements. Okay. The placement, right? Yes, sir. This is the placement. I'm here yeah, the placement. I'm using advantage placement, and that's what I should use. I don't want to use manual placement. But what do you mean? What do you mean? Maybe you should uncheck and we check it back. I mean the advantage plus. Maybe you should check okay. the manual, check the advantage plus and see for what. Okay. I've done that. Let me continue. It's still there. These are some of the things that happen normally. It's not because you are doing anything wrong. So it happens normally like that on Facebook. Is from their own error. Because on this placement now, what it means, the placement means where do you want your ad to show? So as for me, I want Facebook to place my ad in any place they want. The reason is because if you choose manual placement, you can choose from 
places you want your ad to show, like on Facebook, you should not show on Instagram, you should not show on Messenger, or something, something like that. You're going to make ad to be more expensive. When you have order, instead of the order to be, let me say, 500 naira per order, it can be 1,000 per order because you are choosing a manual place. Because it's not going to allow Facebook to show in all their places where the ad can show. So that's it. So as for me, I like to use advantage. Do you understand? So that the Facebook is, you can see recommended. So it's going to allow them to show the ad any place they know that, okay, this is going to convert for you. As for the manual, it might not be the best thing to do. But some people do it too. If they just want the ad to run on Instagram, they will take this one, they will off it, they will off this, they off this. So the ad is going to show on only Instagram. Are you the one only Facebook? They put this one and untick the rest. So as for me, I want to use this. And that's what I use, even the last one. And that's what you use most of the time. So it's not an error, but it's an error just from their own end. And it happens like that sometimes. You can see, ask that open conversation in Messenger. What this will actually mean is not the placement. It actually do with the conversion. You know, if I'm choosing this particular place now, that, okay, the conversion location is Messenger, messaging app or something like that. That means if somebody should click on the ad, what I want the person to do is to message me, maybe on Messenger, Facebook Messenger, Instagram or WhatsApp. So for that, clicking on the ad is not going to take people to my website. Clicking on the ad is not going to take people to my app on Play Store. So clicking on the ad is just going to take people to what? To Messenger or to Instagram or to WhatsApp. And this is something I've, I don't want. That's not what I want to achieve. So what I want to achieve is that when people click on the ad, it should take them to my website. <laughs> you can see, just switching the conversion location now, the error has gone. So it's just an error for them. You can see it has gone. So now it's telling me to, you can see your ad must be associated with an Instagram account. Choose an Instagram account to represent your business at the ad level. I say you selected page. I want to use the same page. So that is that. Okay, this page. This is just a test. Let's just continue. Okay, I've explained this. Let me choose the image again. So next, next, okay. Now, the next thing is that I want to add the primary text. The primary text, I mentioned that I've, we have already written it for you. So you can just copy this and put it there. You can write better copy and you understand what you are doing. You can do what you know it works. It's not compulsory you have to use this particular one. Or you can use GPT to rewrite it for you and make it more uh engaging or something like that so it's going to do that for you so when you have the headline the headline too you can just come here this is the headline here this way i'm saying that you know you can see the headline i used here is because i i know i'm going to use the image where there is the where we have price like i can see 34,000 that the price is 24,000. if the image i'm using doesn't have this kind of thing doesn't have the price on it then this headline here, instead of writing free delivery plus payment on delivery, I'm going to write the price here. I can just write the price, 24,000 naira free delivery, something like that. Because it will have the price. Because when people that don't have money, when they see your ad, they won't click. And Facebook is going to know. Facebook is going to know that those kind of people are not interested in this. And when people that have money, they are clicking and they are ordering for your product, Facebook is, going to sh Facebook is going to show your ad to more people like that. So that's why. So this is it. So the next thing after putting the headline is that on this description, you can just write space, just press space on your keyboard. There's a reason for that. So the reason you're going to know it later. So when you're not writing anything there, just put space there. And on, on this call to action, what is going to show your ad? You can see it's a learn more. Some people like shop now. So we use this one sometimes, use that one sometimes. You can just use order now, shop now, but you don't want to use subscribe. It doesn't have, your ad doesn't have to do with something that people need to subscribe. Watch more, no. Sign up, no. See the menu, no. Request time, no. Play game, no. So you should know what you are going to choose here. So you can choose learn more. You can choose order now. You can choose shop now. So any any of these, they, they go in line with what we are running the ad about. So the next thing is to put the website here. And the website you're going to put here is going to be your landing page. 
I mentioned it the other time because this is the page when somebody clicks on your ad, it's going to take the people to. So when you click on this, so the next thing there is this display link. Display uh, link. This display link, it should be short form of your link. For example, if I paste the same link here, I'm going to delete every other thing here and put just this one. So this is going to display on the ad here. You can see app.goelevel.com. But this is better. I can, you are going to use this display link if the domain has to do with your own custom domain. But if, if it has to do with this app.goelevel.com, it's not really necessary. So you can just delete it. So that is that. So when you do this, you can just click on the tracking website event. So this one is checked normally, but if it is unchecked, you have to check it. So website events. So then you are going to publish the ad like this. One ad says one ad went public because of errors. You said there is one error. What is the error? View details. No promoted object found. Please specify a promoted object. Okay, let me check. Oh, everything has changed here. Maybe because I refreshed that other time. So the conversion event, you know, we said we should choose earboard purchase, something like that. I'm just checking if everything is intact. So publish. Okay, so the ad is public. It's going to be okay. You can see that after publishing the ad now, there's something you should notice is that this is the ad here, but one you can see you see account error. It's because there's no money on this particular ad account, there's no money there. So you're going to write account error, even when you are running your ad and the money finishes, it's going to write account error. Account error doesn't mean your ad account is having issue, just fund it. So you just come to this place, billing, open it in new tab. I like open things in new tab a lot. That's why I have a lot of tabs. So it makes me, uh, what's it called? Not to lose what I was doing before, something like that. So it depends on you anyway. So when you come to this place, I mentioned something and somebody asked a question like last time that I do add maybe 10 era, 20 era initially that can't you add the money you want to use to run the ad. Although this kind of ad we are running, it doesn't have to do with something that is not permissible on Facebook. So. Most times they won't ban your ad, so you can add like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 there. But as for me, I'm used to adding 10 naira, 20 naira, because they have banned a lot of my accounts. And I have a lot of money on Facebook that I'm unable to get back, just because they banned the account and I've already put the money there, because it is prepaid. You put money there before you can run the ad, because you are using naira. But if you are using dollar accounts to run the ad, it's going to be postpaid. But that one too, they do magu magu there, but Natasha, when we are doing the, when we are running ads using the dollar accounts, I'm going to show you some of the things regarding that. But for this one, you have to add the money there before you can run the ad. So you are going to click on ad fund. So I said you can just add like 15 or 100 naira, something like that. So if they ban it, you won't like, you, are, you won't lose a lot of money. So you just click on next. Make sure it is naira payment with mastercard this pay you don't choose this first one so you just click on open this click on continue so and you are going to enter your credit card everything and you pay it's very easy to pay so when you pay the money is going to be added to this place and the ad instead of this account error you are going to see the real status of the ad now it should be in first, first it's going to be in processing. Later, it's going to show in review and later it's going to show active. So you are not going to, you, you won't be able to see the actual status of the uh, ad now because it is already, what's the code? It is, there's no money there, it's just writing account error. You won't be able to see the actual status of, the, of, of it. So what I want to say is that after doing this now, the next thing you want to do Although you should be patient until the ad is active. When the ad goes from processing to in review, then to active, the next thing you want to do is that you click on this place and you click on duplicate. Click on this manual and you click on continue. So you are going to say number of copies, you can say nine. I do say I do use nine. So plus this one I have already is going to be 10. I name 
another nine duplicates. You can see how it looks. So you're not going to click this one, this first one. It wrote earbud one dash copy. Click on it. So you're going to delete everything to one and put two. So it's going to be earbud two. You're going to publish. That one too is going to be in processing, then in review, then active. So you click on this one too. You put three. And you publish. You click on this one too. You put four. And you publish. So you are going to do that until you get to 10. So you have ad accounts that are 10. Oh, I say ad accounts, ads, campaigns that are 10. So you can see these ones have already created. Are going to be down here one, two, three, four. So this one's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they are going to be ten. So although this one they are going to be drafted because I didn't complete them, but all those ones that are completed one, two, three, four. You can see account error because they are in processing, in review, and then data is going to be active. But this one they are just dragged because I didn't publish them. So when you have ten, it depends on you the number of orders you can manage per day. Because one other account can actually give you five orders. Uh, one cam one campaign sorry one campaign can give you five orders or seven orders or ten orders in fact one campaign can give you up to 15 orders or 20 orders so well it depends on the performance that particular day or that particular time so if you want if you can manage a lot of ad because if you run ad now and you have 30 orders can you call 30 people today because you're going to call somebody the number is not going to go you have to call back you call somebody call me after five minutes i'm inside the i'm driving you have to call back. So you're going to be dealing with calling, 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 calling. Can you manage up to 30 people at a time? Do you understand? So if you cannot manage, just run. You can see that all these ads, this one, two, three, four, they are on. You can see the toggle. So you can toggle them off. Toggle maybe three and four. Toggle, toggle them off. Oh, mistakenly. So just, okay, I have one and four now. It doesn't matter. So make, just toggle two off. So if one, if this other, uh, this campaign gives you five orders and this one gives you five, making ten, maybe you can still deal with ten in a day. So tomorrow too, the two can give you five, five, two, making ten, you can still deal with ten. But if you can deal with twenty, that's better because if you have 20, 20 products, you can sell, you can sell all of them, you can send them out in just one day. You can deal with 10, 20, 30. But if you can't deal with those kind of number, just make sure you are using one or two. But if they are not giving you much order, you can add. Uh, three, four, five, six. Sometimes I do 10 together, 10. So I have a lot of orders because I have people who can manage those orders. So it depends on you. But create them and make sure they are in processing, review, and they are active. But you can just toggle them to be off if you are not using them now. This one that is on now, if I should load money there, immediately they will be, they, they be working. If the ad is in review, you can click on this particular notification to see the status sometimes. They're going to put the status there. You can see, okay, this one day ago, it's not the one we, we are doing now. Your ad for page something for your page is scheduled for running. So if it is like 13, 13 uh, 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago, I will know, okay, it is this particular one we are doing. So what I'm just saying that if this ad starts to be active now, they're going to show notification here too. But the best way to know the status of the ad is to add either 10 error, 20 error, 100 error there. You're going to see the real status of the ads. So that is that. Um, okay. I said it depends on the number of order you can manage per day. You are going to know either you should put two or three or something like that. So, and the ad will start running. So when the ad starts running, the next thing you want to do is this. Go to Play Store or Apple Store, depending on the kind of phone you are using, and download Business Suite. Facebook business suit. If you just go to Play Store and say business suit, you're going to see it. Business suit. Uh, Android. Let me just write Android or app. You're going to see how it looks. Okay, image. Okay, this is how this is how the icon is. This is here. You can see Facebook business suit. So you're going to download it and log in with your Facebook account you are using to run this ad. The reason is because people are going to be commenting on your ad. How much is it? I'm interested. Instead of them to click on the button, shop now, or order now, or learn more to buy, they just be saying, I want to buy. Some people say, I want to buy. Call me. This is my number. 
So you have to like respond to them. And what's going to enable you to respond to them is this app, Facebook Business Suite. So you are going to respond to that to them using the app and get their phone number and communicate with them. So this is it. Because there are some people, they don't they are not running ad, but they will look for the ad. Like some of you now, you are going to be selling the same product. Some people will not run their own ad. What they are going to do is that they will look for somebody that is running ad for the kind of product they are selling. If somebody is I'm interested, they are going to see it on Facebook inside the comment section, and they're going to message the person and they're going to sell the product to the person. So they're going to be using your own ad to sell their own product without running ad. People do it a lot on Facebook. So the only way you can cop that is that you two should log in and be seeing the notification. When somebody comments, you're going to see the notification and respond to the person. So this is something you should do in order to respond to people's comments. I want to buy, I'm interested. How much is it? Something like that. So you're going to be using that. So that is that. And you, you don't have to send some people. When somebody says, I'm interested, they will not send the link of the landing page again to them. Do you understand? Somebody says, I'm interested in, in the comment section, comment section. Now send the link to this place to, to the person. It's not needed again. Just say, what's your phone number? Let me, let me call you. Ask for the person's phone number immediately. Let me call you. And we are going to call the person. Do you understand? You call the person and you close the deal. How much is the watch is this? How much is the airboy is this? Where you get something, just ask the question right immediately, and you're going to make the order, get the order immediately. You don't have to send the landing page to the person again. Because when you send the landing page, you know, when somebody is on the landing page, the friend, just a friend or wife or children might just distract the person and it's not going to complete the order. Gone. When the person comes to Facebook later, you might see another person selling the same thing and order from the person. So when somebody says, I'm interested, the next thing is, okay, what's your phone number? Let me call you or let me chat you up on WhatsApp. So and you close the person without even using the landing page again. You don't have to go through that route. So these are some of the things we are going to be tips and tricks. We are going to be letting you to know. We are going to let you know in the uh, upcoming classes. So when you start getting the order, when you go to your Go Level account, where is it here? So when you come to your submissions, Go Level Two they have App Connector. App Connector, go high level. Oh, let me, okay, Android. Okay, lead connector, the same thing. So let me image. Okay, so when you go to Play Store, Google Play, lead connector, you are going to see this logo. That's the logo of their uh, what's it called app. You can download it and sign in. So there too, you can see the form. There too, you can see the form. So if you come to go high level on your website, if you want to use this one, when you go to submissions on that form, when you go to submissions, it's going to be in all. You can see all forms, but you are going to click this place and select the form you need. Maybe the form for earbud or the form for, for Podaga or anything you are selling. Let me just choose these earbuds. When I choose this, it's going to show all the orders I have for this particular product. You can see the one I use as text the other time. So that is it. So it's going to show the information here. And you're going to copy this information to your Google Sheet. So when you copy it to the Google Sheet, we are going to send, uh, make one video. We're going to send one video to you in WhatsApp. It's going to show you how to copy it and how to call the order and things like that. So you're going to know how to do. So that is that. So when you copy the information here to your Google, what's it called, to your Google Sheet, you are going to call the person and close and um, confirm the order. So that is that. If it is Podaga, you are going to choose it here, and you are going to see all the others you have gotten from Podaga here. So and you copy it. So those are some of the things uh, you are going to be doing. And when you now copy the order as in you copy the person's phone number the name the address things like that you copy to google sheet when you copy to google sheet you call the person to confirm the order we receive your order something you are located in lagos it's going to be delivered to you today or tomorrow the dispatch rider will call you when they are coming are you available some people will say okay yes i'm available some people have traveled i'm going to come back tomorrow or i'm going to come back next week something like that so just note it down and things like just be noting and be so just confirm the order and when once the other the person say send the order 
for some of you that you are doing the simplify diy you just send the notification to us we are going to let you know where we are going to do that you send the notification to us and we are going to send the product for you uh, to the delivery people and we are going to let you know that okay, we are giving it to delivery people so you are going to follow up and make sure you deliver your product and you collect your money so the other lessons inshallah is going to we are going to continue from here next time but now what i want to do what i want you to do is to do the landing page because by tomorrow tomorrow is monday inshallah so we are going to let you know the products you are going to be selling and you are going to get your landing page. you already have your landing page you're going to set it up connect it with facebook do the pixel run the ad make sure it is active duplicate it and things like that so and you're going to start running the ad tomorrow inshallah all the other things you need to complete everything is going to be sent to you tomorrow so it's already 10 20 now so we just have to go but we're going to send a link to uh, all the resources you need and other things tomorrow inshallah so can we take one or two questions before we go okay Fasila Adio. Assalamu alaikum wa Why is Kansula Kato? Welcome to the for the class. Uh, my question okay. is, I want to know if the total reach is subsidized for the community member or are we to also pay 15 to for the total reach um, hosting? Thank you. Okay. okay. Well, the total reach, as I've mentioned before, it was, it was initially we subsidized it to be 5,200. To be sincere with you, you know, the money we are paying on the total reach is much. And now, a lot of people are not paying. A lot of people are not paying. And the money, we are just paying it because we know that it is being useful for people. So subsidizing it again this time, I yeah, will discuss with other people tomorrow. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, Mr. Adebayo Adeinka. Why is Santo Akatu? Speak on, sir. I can't hear you clearly. Thank you, sir. But we can't hear you clearly. I... Okay, Speak louder. I said my... Okay, let me help you. I said my question is that I have uh, opened the page, but okay. the, the business account. But what I'm seeing on my other account is restricted accounts. All the pages I opened, I opened like three pages, three different pages on the business ad account. So it shows that, me the same that, thing. That, account that restricted. Means the, I don't know that why it's me. That means they have banned the accounts. So when Facebook ban your account, they are going to show you the reason why they are banning the account. Okay. Do you understand? So it, it might be because they just want you to turn on uh, two-factor authentication. Or they want you to send your ID card, maybe voter's card, or NIN, or uh, international passport, or driver's license. So if they want you to send any of those, you can just send it. Sometimes they just want you to confirm your phone number, so you just confirm it. So, but if it is permanent restriction, that means you can't use that Facebook account to run ad again. It doesn't affect your normal Facebooking, chatting, right. things like that. Okay. But you won't be able to use it for business again. So with that, you have to open another one or get from your friend, for family and friends. So that, okay, let me just use your Facebook account to be running ad. So you'll be using the ad uh, side of the, the business side of the Facebook and the person is going to continue using his Facebook. So... If you can't do that, my you can open. My surprise is that I two different Facebook accounts, and then the two Facebook accounts are giving me the same story. Account okay. If that, if 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 that happens, that you are anytime you log into your Facebook a Facebook account on your system is giving you that kind of thing. That means maybe they have marked your system. So if you continue to be logging to new Facebook account, they continue to be banning it. If that is the case, my advice to you is that. You get another person's laptop to be running the ad for a while. 
So when it is stable after a while, then you can create, if you are using Chrome before, you can download Mozilla or uh, Internet Explorer or any other browser on your laptop and use that one instead of the one you were using before. And if you have not been using VPN too, you can try to use VPN. So these are some of the things to use in order to go out of that particular banning. It happens to me before. Over 10 accounts, I log in like this, immediately they, will go to, they are going to ban the account and restrict it. So I have to be using another person's uh, laptop to be running the ad. No. On later, 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 I was able to use my own. So there are some people who also sell Facebook accounts. But it's expensive now. Before, we used to buy it for 3,000 era. Because Facebook account to run ads, sometimes it might be difficult because you'll be creating it and they'll be banning it immediately. Creating it, they ban it immediately. So you have to like get from some people. So there are some people, they create a lot. So they just sell for 3,000. But later it increased to 5,000. That was the last price I remembered. But I don't know now. So try to get from a friend and let them do everything for you on their phone or on their laptop. Don't log in on your own phone or your own laptop. The person that owns the account, let the person go to, uh, what's it called? If you want to use your phone, do you understand? I've already showed you how to get, you are going to go to web.facebook.com on your phone. And you are going to put the phone in uh, desktop view. When you put it in desktop view, if it's changed back to m.facebook.com, which is mobile, you are going to change it back to web.facebook.com. And you are going to be seeing the Facebook as if you are on laptop. So you are going to click on the page, create the page, click on Ad Manager, do everything just the way we did on this uh, call, in this meeting. Okay, yeah. So that's what you can do. So if you are still having problem, um, the support group, um, we're having issue, but now we have uh, split the job. I'm going to be active there from, uh, what's it called, the time of Zoom to time of Asri. And uh, another person is going to be active from time of Asri to time of Mount group. So that's going to be the most active hour of the support group. So if you have time that particular time, if you message me, if you have an issue, I can even go on a call with you like this to help you to resolve the issue, inshallah. So, Mr. Adedeji Teslim. Want to pay Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, sir. Why is that like that, sir? Um, Jazakumullah khair for the knowledge, sir. Uh, my question is... Pray. The other time we paid for Go High Level, you subsidized it for us. We paid 5,200 naira. And you made a promise mm -hmm. then that it will be for a lifetime if we buy then. So I want to ask, is it, that it's, is it going to be 5,000 naira for we that we, we, we bought then or we are still going to be paying 15 or 10,000 naira, sir? Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, if you remember that time, what we said was that if you buy it 5,200 5, naira and you are not... You, you don't stop subscribing to it. That if you should subscribe, if you should stop and you come back later, it might you need to go back to 15,200 naira. I understand that a lot of people need it for 5,200 naira. But the only thing is that on that uh, guy level right now, we are, it's just like we are not making any money from it because the money we are paying uh, per month is just a lot. You know, when you are paying over 300,000 naira for not having anything coming. So that's why. Uh, we don't like to subsidize it again. But I'm going to talk with uh, people tomorrow when we get to the office. So maybe we're going to make it to be 5,000 so for the people who are doing simplified DIY or for some people who are who need it right now. But later it won't be like that. Okay, sir. Just for answer. Thanks. Okay, sir. Mr. Majid uh, Yakin. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, sir. Why is that you are sir? I'm going to hire a confirm for the job you are doing at your team. Uh, sir, you, sir. Uh, as, as uh, the program you introduced to us yesterday, you did say that uh, you have a conclusion, comment, and the likes. Okay, sir. This uh, today's uh, uh, class has been scheduled before, but uh, my, my, what I'm asking is that uh, my investment for that. Uh, or the e-commerce, I want to convert it to this uh, new program you are introducing uh, because it's a good opportunity for me. It's what I've been looking forward to having that opportunity. 
So since it's not mentioned, that's why I'm asking. What's the way forward on that, sir? And as regards to the comments, you know that uh, that is I mentioned time has gone because I was very tired at that time. So I don't know, maybe we can have a meet talk tomorrow where people can ask questions on that or something like that. So we're going to like some people even ask some other questions too in my DM, like uh, if they pay that money. We didn't need another money again to do any other anything or whatsoever, and it's an important question to to uh, discuss. So, and I told the person that, well, um, from what we have planned, you are not going to be needing uh, money, but it's possible for you to need a little change. But that needing money, extra money, is not going to affect the overall uh, what's it called success. The only thing that it might make it to work more than the person that has money or things like that. But it's not a requirement to have other money other than that particular money, the way we are planning it. So this one that you mentioned too, um, tomorrow, inshallah, we are going to know what to do regarding it, sir. Okay, noted, sir. Okay, sir. Um, um, uh, Mrs. Billy Kisu, uh, you wali? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Why is that like ma? Jazakumullah uh, Khayan. We really appreciate all you are doing for us. May Allah reward you with the best of reward. Mm. My question um, I want to ask about this duplication of the ad campaign. Okay, what is the rationale behind duplicating it to many copies okay. when okay. we didn't touch anything in the original one? That is my okay. first question. The second okay. is on program that Mr. The last speaker talked about. Okay. Um, I want to know if we will be given the opportunity of paying that sum of hundred thousand naira instrumental for people that have If you are not the one talking, you can please mute your mouth, please. Okay, ma. I got the question, ma. Okay. Yes. The very first one. The reason why we are duplicating is that, you know, if you are for one ad, for one campaign, Facebook has already shown us that, okay, maybe the like the likely order you are, you, you are, you are going to get per day is 10. Less than 10. They usually say less than 10. Although sometimes you get more than 10. But a lot of times you're going to get less than 10. But we want to get 30 orders or 50 orders. So when we want to scale Facebook ads, for some people, some people are getting 100 orders a day on Facebook. Some people are getting 200 orders a day from Facebook. So if they want to get 100 orders or 200 orders, there are two ways. The very first way is to scale vertically. The second way is to scale horizontally. If you want to scale vertically, that is that you increase the, num uh, the amount of money you want to be spending on one single account. Because I don't know, maybe you notice that while we are running the ad, there is a place where it puts 3,400 naira or 800 naira. That is the money we are going to be spending a day. If you load, let me show you. I hope you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? No. No. My screen is showing. I'm sure. I'm sure. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see it. Yes, my screen is showing. So please, if you are not talking, mute your mic, please. If you are not talking, mute yourself. Abdul Rashid, please mute yourself. And Abdul Razak, Akim. Abdul Razak, Akim. If you don't meet yourself, I may remove you from the call, and I'm going to be. There's nothing I can do because you're disturbing me. Abdul Razak Akim. Okay. So, while you are running there, let me click on edit for this particular ad. I want to show you something. When you go to other ad sets. So, here, yeah, look at it. Daily budget three thousand nine hundred and eighty naira. That means you can see what Facebook says. You will spend average of three thousand eight hundred naira per day. Your maximum daily spend is 
4,975 Naira. And the maximum weekly spend is this. You can see. So you're going to spend average of this, but sometimes it can be more and it can be less, but it's not going to be up to 5,000 Naira. But I, I need a lot of orders, for example. I need 200 orders. I am ready to spend 100,000 in a day. So how is it possible for me to run ad and get a lot of orders? One way is to scale vertically. If you want to scale vertically, you are going to delete this one and put 100,000 there. That no, me, I want to spend 100,000. Look at what Facebook says. Your daily budget is set 2,413 percent higher than this account's average budget. Do you understand? It's more than what you should spend. If you say, okay, continue to spend it, Facebook is going to spend it and it's going to give you more orders. You can see before, while I was saying, I was putting just 3,000 something there, he's saying that I'm going to get less than 10 orders. Now that I'm putting, how much did I put? 100,000. He's saying that I'm going to get between 14 to 43 orders between 14 to 43 others and the number of people that are going to see my ad is going to be between 57,000 and 164,000 people but if i should change the price back to what it was which is 3980 look at it the number of people are going to see my ad are going to be between 3000 uh, 3400 and 9800 and the others i'm going to get is going to be likely less than 10 so you can see this. So if you want to spend more, if you want to, if you need more orders, you're going to increase your budget. But one thing is this: if you do it, I'm telling you, like I can say more than 80 percent sure that the ad is not going to perform the way you want it. Even when you put hundred thousand instead of this three thousand eight naira eight naira, the order you're going to get might not even be up to ten. It's because of what you have tested. And the all the Facebook expert online over the years, that's what they are saying. That's what if you want to scale vertically, it doesn't work most times. So the best way to scale, if you need more order, is to have a lot of campaigns. Each one is having 3,800 naira. If you have 10 now, 10 of this kind of campaign, that means you are running 39,000, 39, or something like that. That's 9,000. 800 naira per day so if you want more you can have 20 if you want more you can have 30 but to increase the daily budget here is not recommended because most times it doesn't perform the way you want it you know you like uh, when i put 3980 there i'm having five orders let me just put um 50000 there if you have more 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 orders it doesn't work like that the best way it can work is to have to scale horizontally and that's to have a lot of ads instead of you increasing the budget of one particular ad this is from experience this is from what we have seen from a lot of uh what's it called the training we have taken so and from experience too so that's it so yes, okay ma the second one we are going to discuss it tomorrow inshallah still on this one sir Okay, uh, there was a time I ran and had. Initially, okay. I started with a campaign. And okay. uh, I ran it from 12 a.m. at night. So by okay. the following morning, there was no order, but there, there was a lot of uh, view. So okay. at, at a point, I consulted the person that was mentoring me. And the person okay. talked about the ad being in learning fees. Okay. I didn't understand the learning phase, though I left it as the person has instructed. So okay. after some time, around afternoon time, it started picking. So it picked up to about three orders. My budget then was 2,000 Naira daily. So it picked three orders around uh, evening time. So okay. at the time, the person said I should duplicate the ad. And okay change the location the location initially was all nigeria so the person now said i should pick some locations instead of all nigeria and the creative art creative i should change it so i did that so in the long run i left the two to run the following day so the following day the new uh, ad that i duplicated which i changed the ad creative and the location did not bring any other than one. It was the initial one 
that brought more orders that makes it five. The following day makes it five orders for the two days. So I have okay. to stop the second day. So I'm now thinking about the learning phase. What does the learning phase mean? And the reason why the second uh, ad did not perform at all. Okay, I don't know if you know what I'm trying to explain, sir. Yeah, I, I understand very well. The learning phase, sometimes when you run ads, after the processing and after the in review, the ad is going to enter into the learning phase. The ad is learning because your image and the ad copy you supply, you use, the Facebook algorithm is unable to get the kind of people you are looking for. That who are the people you are targeting? So the, the ad, the algorithm is unable to get the kind of people you are targeting. So it's learning who are those people that is testing different kind of people. Let me show this kind of people if they are going to be interested. Let me show this kind of people. You are going, so they're going to be testing different kind of people that they have in their own system. They, are, they know people who have money. They know people who don't do this. They know people who do this. So they are just testing. The ad is testing, testing, testing. So when ad enters into the learning phase, do you understand? It's because your maybe your image or your copy or your landing page, there is the ad is unable to get exactly what you are doing or the kind of people you are interested in. So it's going to enter into the learning phase. From what you have seen, when the ad enters into the learning phase, it might perform later. But you are going to spend a lot of money at the initial stage because the ad is going to be learning and learning even when it is now active or it's still learning while you're running you are not going to be having a lot of orders so that's why when you have you notice that your ad is going entry into the learning you can run another ad try a new campaign from scratch if that one to enters into learning you have to get another ad account so that is it. So the learning phase is not something that is recommended. When the ad enters into the learning, you have to spend a lot of money initially at the initial stage without getting much results. Then later you will start giving you results, but you have to like have good budget for the ad. So that is as regards to the learning phase. As regards to the second one that didn't perform, I took even this week. We are. I still. Uh, I took even Facebook ad course. I took it before. I took another one the course that Facebook created themselves for this particular ad we are we are we are explaining they too they talked about what testing ad is about testing even when you call the people who build the algorithm they don't know they can't say okay this thing is the short thing to do except they test so when they test different image different copy do you understand from that you're going to see the winner and you're going to continue using the winner so that's one of the things maybe when you change the image or the copy or something like that it might affect it might not resonate with the people you are selling to and it's going to make you not to have enough orders so that's like a test a b test for you that okay you are going to see like okay this ad this image is not performing this copy is not performing but this one is performing so that is one thing another thing is that i want to tell you another advantage of duplicating the people who are in lagos if you are running ad to people who are in lagos they are already segmented into different segments from Facebook. When you run an ad like this, ad Facebook is going to drop the ad into a particular segment that the kind of people are going to they're going to be seeing the ad, they're going to be like similar based on what Facebook has already determined. But if you duplicate the ad or you run the ad from scratch, you have another tendency to be in another segment, which can be better or poorer compared to the first one you you, you did. So ad basically is about testing, testing, testing until one, when you see one, one that works, then you're going to make multiple and duplicate that particular one. Even when you have ad that is working, duplicating it without, without changing anything doesn't guarantee you that those ones are going to work. You have to like run a lot of ads to see the one that is working and keep that one to be running. It has happened to us before that a ad, an ad is performing and we kept it like for one year, the same ad. When you want to run it, just put it on. Don't you see some ad on Facebook? When you look at the comment, you see that you are going to be seen 30 weeks ago, 40 weeks ago. Those people are still using the same ad because they are, the ad is still performing. They might have duplicated the ad to get new ones, and the new ones will not be performing like the old one they have. So it's all about testing, testing, testing. That's why, for me, I don't run one campaign. Never. I will start with at least three. So when I start with three, after like two hours, 
one might be bringing maybe five others and one will not bring will not bring any other even after 24 hours i might have 10 others in one and i will just, i will have just one other in one imagine the same model the same duplicate without changing anything the same location the same copy the same creative the same image the same video the same everything one is going to be bringing 10 others and one no other and the one that is not bringing other you also be spending the same money like the one that is bringing other so i'll just know okay this ad is not performing i'll just put it over or delete it so there's no way imagine that the one that is not performing was the only one i am running so i would have wasted a lot of money and i was, I was saying ah, the ad is not performing but the advantage of duplicating is that if one is not performing the other one is going to be performing you put up the one that is not performing and you keep the one that is performing so ad is about testing 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 so that is it thank you very much sir okay man um mr agbola yusuf we are going to stop the project of alo nam jazak mola uh we appreciate you me all my time actually you've answered some of my question and that is based on the ads but in addition to that i want to ask what, what is the best time to launch a campaign like in a day now i want to I want to campaign what's the best time to start so that at least going through the learning phase then before it started uh, and dropping that is one then secondly on the product when and how can we start getting the the two products that you mentioned and where can we get it and what is the no maximum number that one can get is there a limit to it not? okay thank you sir as regards to the time for the ad the day weekends we do have a lot of orders on weekends because people press their phone the time people are pressing their phone is the time we have orders people press their phone a lot on weekends because they are they are at home they are just pressing phone so we have a lot of orders on weekends saturdays and sundays a lot during the day the time of the day we do have a lot of orders in the evening when people when they are like maybe they are in the they are in the bus pressing phone going back home or they are at home like four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. We do have a lot of orders during that time. And we do have a lot of orders also in the morning. But if you put your ad, we do launch our ad at maybe 12 o'clock in the midnight or one o'clock or two o'clock. The reason why we are doing that is because the ad will have delivered to the news feeds of those people. So when they're just scrolling their phone, like they are seeing our ad. Because when you, when you launch your ad, sometimes the ad is going to deliver fast. Delivery of the ad means the ad is active and the money is on the account. But you might not see any, you might not see any impression. Impression means the number of people, the number of times the ad has shown to people. You have money there and the ad is active. And for one hour, two hours, three hours, impression is still going to be zero. That means the ad has not delivered to any person. So in order to avoid that, we do launch the ad in the midnight maybe 12 o'clock or one or two or three. Do you understand? So with that, the ad will have delivered to the news feed of people. So early in the morning like this, you can start seeing 50 impressions, 100 impressions, 1,000 or 2,000 impressions. And the more impression, the number of time the ad is shown to people, then the more others are going to have. So you don't want to launch your ad in the morning. Although we do have ads, uh, we do have orders in the morning. But not that money you are going to launch it. You launch it in the midnight. So that those people who are going to browse their phone before they go to work in the morning, who are going to order, the ad will have been delivered to their news feeds. They will just scroll like this and they will see your ad. But if you put your ad on like that for a day, you are going to see that you are going to have a lot of orders in the morning. When it's around 10, 11, 12, the order will stop. The ad will still be running, but because most of the people are going to be in their they are going to be working they are not going to be pressing their phone so they are not going to have they are not going to have much order during that time but when it gets to evening again like four five six you are going to be receiving much orders again so that is what you have noticed over the years so that's that so please let's stop here for the sake of our law so we are going to uh, uh, okay as regards to the second question the we have the we have the earbuds the earbuds we have them available and the Podaga too, we have them available, but that one is uh, finishing, as in people are buying it. We have delivered a lot of them, like just few remaining. But the able to people are buying it a lot, but we have a lot of that. So we are going to let you know tomorrow, inshallah, please. So when we get to the office tomorrow, we are going to message. 
I don't know, maybe you have paid before. If you have paid, you're going to be contacted. So thank you. So we are going to stop here. We're going to tell to our sisters. So Allah wala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in subhanaka Allah wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum assalam